what's going on guys it is topi back with a brand new video today i'm going to be giving you guys a class build that's going to be helping you get past mediums and not only one medium but two mediums and even the triple medium class that that thing that's doing everything in ranked right now it's super ridiculous but uh i'm gonna be telling you guys how to get past that with this light build and of course if you guys enjoy this you might as well share it with your friend your dog your cat your frog and subscribe to the channel but let's get to the build the first one being cloaking device because obviously if you can't see something you can't hit it Heavy down. Purple. One one down here. I'm low. Psych, I hit those. Closing Vice is a really good ability. Uh, it makes you invisible for the most part. Uh, you know, you, there's still like a kind of like trace in the air to um, where you're moving, but you're pretty much invisible. And especially in situations where teams are fighting for the cash out, it's going to be very difficult to spot you in addition to all the destruction that's going around as well. But let's go to the damage portion of this build. As for damage, you're going to want to use the SH-1900. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be using the double barrel shotgun. It does have a pretty wide spread, as you guys can see here. The accuracy is pretty low and the mag size is pretty low. However, this weapon does so much bursted damage and damage so fast you can actually two-shot a heavy. I know this is more towards mediums, but hear me. You can two-shot a heavy. One mag with this thing can take out a heavy. Of course, you have to be extremely close and have every single bullet, but that's a heavy gone. And those are also our ops, okay? Light people. Having that shotgun and being able to do a lot of burst damage so fast, in addition to the, you know, hit, hit and instantly melee after uh, is going to help you out so so much as a light in addition to being able to get behind them without them seeing it's very nice uh but mr topi uh what about the the automatic defibs on the team and they all just defib each other well chill out i i got that covered all you have to do is use a glitch grenade half the time when you're running triple medium they're all staying together in case one of them dies they can just defib the other or they could just team shot you with their AKs and FKRs or whatever they're called, uh, then you're dead, you know? That's kind of how the triple medium has been working. Uh, it's very rare that I actually see a medium away from the other two mediums, like flanking and stuff like that. It does happen, of course, but that makes it even easier for you because now you're doing a 1v1 instead of a 1v3. So using the glitch grenade just cancels out their abilities. So make sure you use this when you're going to engage in the fight and then immediately use your other weapon, the stun gun, to stun one of them so they can't really turn around too fast and then two shot them, go and viz and leave okay that is the most important part after you glitch them and they're not able to use their abilities you get one kill and you leave okay because that's what the light class is for here let's analyze this clip so as you guys can see here i run up i do miss a stun but i'm in viz and they don't notice me i get one kill i see that my teammates with me i'm behind him i get the other kill and now i'm safe to res okay if my teammate stayed alive then I would be able to disengage at this point, like what I'm doing right now, because now I'm not ready for this fight, and my invis is really, really low, so I don't want to, you know, do anything too crazy, get into a situation where I will die, and then my medium is going to have to try to, you know, res me, or die and we get team wiped there. If you're running light, medium, heavy, this is going to be very, very nice, because a large majority of the time, your heavy is going to be entering straight forward with your medium. Your medium's going to be supporting heavy with, you know, damage as well as healing beam, if, if they run healing beam, while you get to go around while you're in viz and try to get one kill. Once you get that one kill, after you glitch grenaded, you're going to want to run back to your team, you know, uh, either get healed by the medium or something, you know, just wait for your cooldowns to come back, reload, reload your stun gun and stuff. Uh, while that's happening and you're in a safe place or behind like a shield or something, uh, the other two mediums are not going to be able to defib and they're also going to be super focused on this huge Lewis gun using heavy, you know, shooting at them with a mercy pocket behind them, like, you know, and then your cooldown should be good again. If those two are still up, just throw another glitch grenade. You know, even when you're on cooldown for your stun gun, you can still throw another glitch grenade because there's two of them. Guys, I'm, I'm telling you, triple medium is super annoying, but if you're able to pull this off, it makes it so much easier to deal with them, okay? Obviously, you're gonna have to have a team that knows what they're doing on the same level as you, which is something that's difficult to find in many games because 
especially if you're not using comms you guys are thinking of two different things you know he might be an extremely good player you might be an extremely good player but you guys aren't playing together so team's not working out you guys are losing you know there are some other factors that go into this but this class cloaking device double barrel shotgun stun gun glitch grenade and one of your choice probably is the best light class for tri dealing with triple mediums i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a like Topi Prime here. Share this with your friend, your dog, your cat, your frog. I'll be bringing you guys final content as much as I can. And peace.